Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Brian and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to slipstream service pack 3 in the command prompt into a copy of Windows XP. Now for this job you're going to need a copy of Windows XP to take the files off the CD and put them onto your desktop and you can also need to download service pack 3 which you can get from any any download site which you can find it on but this is obviously on Microsoft which is a more trusted site the file size is about 300 megs as you can see 316 megs if you've got a fast download speed you should be able to download that pretty quickly now this also works for the same principle as service pack 2 so if you wanted to slipstream service pack 2 and not and you don't want to do service pack 3 then by all means you can do that as well it's the same process now you can use programs called like nlight and stuff like that I'll maybe make another video on how to use that program. It is a cool program, but I just want to show you how to just slipstream uh, a copy of a service pack free into a disk. Okay, you can also need these programs. You're going to need Magic ISO because we're going to create a bootable CD from it as well, so we can actually boot to that CD. It's no good making a slipstream disk if you can't boot to it so we're going to need a boot image file which I will put in my description and also make uh, a magic ISO uh, program or some sort of ISO program okay and there's our service pack 3 ready to go so basically we need to go to our C drive because that's where I'm going to create so there we, is, there's our file service pack 3 file and also we need to make a folder called XPCD and inside there is our copy of Windows what we've grabbed off of our CD now you need to put the CD in the drive explore the drive and actually grab all the files off the CD and drag them into this folder okay now you can already see there is the service pack 3 already in here but I'm just going to show you how the process works this already got service pack 3 on it but I will show you how to do it okay so let's get started so first off we need to go start run and then type CMD in the actual run bar. This will bring up the command prompt. From command prompt, we need to type CD space backslash and then push enter. That gives us the root directory, C root directory. Type CLS to clear the screen. So we've got a nice clear screen. Okay. Now from there, we need to copy our file. Now, a little tip here is to save you a bit of time just go back to this folder hit this file here this is our file right click rename and copy otherwise you're gonna to have to type all that out it's a bit of a nightmare so I just paste that file name in there because it's a bit of a long one then hit space okay and then you need to put forward slash and then you need to type integrate okay so you need to put integrate um, and then you need to put uh, colon C colon and then you need to put backslash and then we need to put XPCD which is our folder okay so once we've got that um, once we've got that command up there we can hit, hit the enter key and that will now take our files from this folder and put it into take this file from that folder and into the actual XP one okay push enter and this is what you're going to get extracting the files from there okay once we've done that it's going to put all the service pack 3 files into that XP folder once that's finished we'll create the booble image from all the files in that folder so you just need to wait until this is done shouldn't take too long you may get a different message to me because I've already got service pack free and now I'm not sure what's going to happen you won't get this message I don't think you'll get another box pop up with another little line okay just click OK and close that so that's now done okay now if we look in there obviously we've got our service pack free so what we need to do now is make a bootable image so I'm going to go into my magic ISO find the files that we've just created into that folder so there's it XPCD need to highlight all these files 
hold the shift key down so they all go blue and then just drag them up into this area once we've done that we can now see all our files that we want to copy and it says non-bootable so we need to make it bootable this is when we need our boot image so load boot image click on this icon leave it on uh, from boot image file I'm going to browse to that file which is I know where it is it's on my desktop so you'll obviously put it where you like click OK and it's now made that uh, bootable so we need to now save this file save as I'm going to call it um, say XP okay and it's now creating that file onto my desktop as you can see xp.iso let that just uh, create a file and once we've done that I'll uh, boot that file up just to show that it's bootable and it works so if we burn that to a CD now that's that's bootable and it'll be ready to go okay so that's now closed closed and I'm just going to quickly show you that it does boot up we need to actually direct our CD. This is a virtual drive, a virtual machine, so I just need to add that file which is on my desktop. As you can see, select. And now we're going to boot to this image, okay? Just to show you that it does work. And then push start, and we should see the blue screen. It should say push any key, which works. Push enter, and there you go. Okay? So as you can see it's now loading my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope this video has been some use to you thanks very much for watching if you please like if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions please leave a comment or email me any requests for videos just send us a message and I'll do my best to make one for you okay bye for now